Hello Scrappers, welcome to another Scrap Mechanics Solo Adventure tutorial series. Um, today, um, we're just going to do a little bit of messing around. We kind of like accomplished everything that there is uh, to do in this, in the main part of the game. So it's like, there's no major, like we can go to like Scrap City and you know, just like kind of cruise around. But for like game wise, there's like really nowhere else to go. Now we just get to mess around, which is kind of like more my favorite thing to do. Uh, today we're gonna like find a home for these little guys. These are little cute little robots. Uh, we're gonna stick them in a food truck. So we're gonna build like a, a mock food truck. It's not gonna be an actual, well maybe we could make it so it's kind of functional. And honestly I don't really have a uh, any saws or anything so I can't like cut down these mighty trees or whatever so I might do some modifications in here uh, just so I can uh, put a saw on this thing I guess so we'll do that and we'll come back to you oh the lag <laughs> oh we're gonna have to do something about this lag get our saws and then maybe come up with a contraption to make a proper saw thing on this thing yeah, so I took a few modifications on the truck here. So now I have it a little bit more simpler. I think it was ha I was having a lot of problems with lag. And I think it was just because we were having too much collision uh, with the front portion of this. So I kind of changed it up if I have when I needed to. So now it's just a little bit more simpler. Basically, it'll all come down, and the uh, blades will just come down on an angle. Just all on one go. Oops, wrong button. That one. There's far less drills on here, too, which is, I think, is going to reduce the lag a little bit or whatever. Hopefully. I did uh, modify the steering again, though, however, it is a little bit off. I might have to extend it out just a little bit more, and I kind of changed up. Uh, the rear, it does drive a little bit better and it's a little less laggy, which is pretty important. Not to say that there isn't a little bit of lag to it. I did turn down my, uh, my graphics down just a bit so I can operate this thing a little bit better. I was literally getting like two frames a second <laughs> and that was pretty horrible. So yeah, we're just going to change that. We should have more than enough stuff now. Yeah, I think we have a little bit. If I need more wood, I can go out and get it if I need it. Since it's just gonna, it's not gonna be an issue anymore. So on with the next project. All right, let's do a little montage just to get the um, get this truck built. <laughs> montage time. Fancy steering with this one. Okay, it feels a little bit narrow. I think I might widen this out a bit eventually. But getting on the right track here. Real maggot wagon. Because <laughs> I'm not really sitting in here very well. Because even when I hop out, I'm getting stuck in the roof here and I have to squat out. Not like this truck is going to be super functional, but...
the unstackables. How much I hate you. Scrappers are almost on the final stretch. We will have to paint this thing now. So nobody wants an unpainted vehicle. I sure don't. Hey, get out of my wheel. Good lord. <laughs> get up. Ow, ow, ow. All right, scrappers, and we're finished the uh, the build here. It took me a little bit of time to get all the paint for it, but here's what it all looks like. I got a one little button press on here and everything will uh, actually start operating and working. Give a hop out, everything opens, and uh, all the guys will be able to serve you. So I got about four of them. So we can get some quick burgers already on the go and I can move this thing anywhere I want to <laughs> just a little something that you could just have a little bit of fun with your with your build it is quite narrow though <laughs> it's probably the most narrowest vehicle I ever I've ever built I usually like to make really wide vehicles yeah but that basically is it um, Give it all like a nice. I think I might actually change the color because I'm seeing like way too much blue in here. Let's just change this up. I think we'll go with the orange for these guys. They almost look kind of like default colors, but whatever. I think that will work for it anyway. Anyway, that will should be it for today. Thank you for joining me. Like, subscribe, uh, please leave a comment by all means. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Laters.